Hit sharply, and that is a fair ball. Larry makes the turn past third. He will score standing, and it's an RBI hit. Hit well out to left. That one is gone. A three-run homer off the bat of Ethan Pulliam, and all of a sudden it is four to nothing. Mississippi State on the first home run of the season by Pulliam. How about that? Only his 15th start. Ethan Pulliam, the freshman, hitting 240. Gets the 3-2 change up, fouls it off down the line. That allows him to sit back just a little bit longer. Opponent's only hitting 125 off his fastball until now. Joe Powell buries this over the wall. Home run for Mississippi State yet again. Back-to-back -back home runs by the Bulldogs, and it's now five to nothing on the first home run of the season for Powell. It's going to be one to nothing, Arkansas. Helfrick drops this one into left field. It'll be extra bases. He'll head into second base with a stand-up double. He could be a five-tool player if he puts it all together offensively. He committed, he strikes out to end. 3-2, and that one just missing the mark. Ground ball, tough play for Sprague Lott. Arkansas is yet to retire. Hitters six through nine for Mississippi State as Pulliam hits this one off of Stovall, it ricochets in the right field. That will score Kohler, and the lead increases to six to nothing. Powell swings and misses, so that big sweeping curve. Towering fly ball. Stovall gives chase, he makes the catch. Problems on the mound, although Leighton Finley has been very good. And Charlie Goldstein in the mound's good, but George is making a run, yeah. And play well that you don't expect. That's part of winning national championships. Ground ball. Nice sliding play there made by Pulliam. But they just haven't been able to get this hit in this situation. This gets away. The runners will advance to second and third. 2-2. Two -two. Hit sharply, but right to Mershon, and he makes the throw in time to get Helfrick. He pulled his hands in, got the barrel out, and got the base hit. Did he go around? He did. And Diggs draws the leadoff walk. Jones 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout. Hits this one well out towards left field, going back to the wall, it's gone. Jason Jones with a two-run shot. His fourth of the season, and Arkansas draws closer. It's a 6-3 game. That's what Arkansas has been looking for. Yeah, the home run by Jason Jones. That wasn't a bad pitch either. Low and away. You talk about plate coverage for the nine-hole hitter. Gets the barrel out over the plate, lifts it to right, left field. Out towards center field. Jordan can't make the catch. It gets away. Holt ends up at second base. Ground ball by Stovall, that'll push Holt to third base. Tough play, third base, and the throw is in time from Kohler to Hines, but Holt is in, it's a six to four game. Will McIntyre last year, if you looked at the stats, he gave up a lot of home runs, then you knew the fastball was pretty straight, and, and he'd throw it in offensive counts. They're going to intentionally walk one of the best home run hitters, active home run hitters in the league, Hunter Hines. Got him. Big strikeout for McIntyre. 
And a leadoff four pitch walk. Just two of 13. Hit well out to left. Tie game. Hudson White, who came up huge for Arkansas on Friday, comes up with another clutch hit, a game-tying two-run home run. And Arkansas has evened this game up. This is what Dave Van Horn was telling us about. I know that this offense has more potential than what we've shown. They come back down 6-0. Take a look at Hudson White. Again, for Gavin Black, just leaves it out over the plate a little too much right into that barrel. And when they talk about launch angle, look at that. Nowhere for that ball to go with the perfect timing except out of the ballpark. Hudson White ties this game up. Oh, yeah, anything to get him out, man. Inside and tight to Jones. On the move, Jones is safe. And hitting in those spots, 0 for 6 so far today. That ball's hammered. Annihilates that baseball to left. Arkansas on top. If you're able to add to that depth you can go to a lot of great places throughout the course of the season the catching counterpart for white heading to second base and uh, they walked him they're gonna argue that should have been strike two and they're arguing and he is out of course but it's a walk so he I don't know. Well, now they will make the call that he's out. Sprague lot hits this one out towards right field. It's got some carry. It's off the wall. Sprague lot will put the brakes on at second base. And he's got a leadoff double for the Razorbacks. That was once upon a time a 6 nothing game. Aloy, ground ball over to third. It's a fair ball. The toss, long throw made by Kohler. Swings at the first pitch. Gives us a ride out towards left field. Making the catch is chance, but tagging and scoring is Sprague Lott. And it is a 9-6 lead. Breaking ball. Hit towards Sprague Lott, makes the throw, one down. 2-2 two -two from Gackle. Got him. Line drive, that is into left field for a base hit. So the Bulldogs are alive here in the ninth from Gackle. And that will bring the game tying run. Gackle set. Call third strike. And the comeback for Arkansas is complete. They trailed 6 0 at one point, but they come back to win it 9 6. What a win, Todd.